We're going to take a little detour. We're not going to talk about Event Lux today. No. We're going to talk about something that's a little popular around level 200, but is usually overshadowed by raid gear. We're going to talk about Reaver and Lich Lux. And we're going to start with tier 4 for now. Just so we can compare it to the other ones. So, bracelets first, I guess. 100 heat damage, 1200 health, 600 cunning, and 30 health regen. Health regen is pretty useless, but this bracelet is OP. It's like a godly Hrungner bracelet, but better, with the only downside of it not being an attack version like Hrungner bracelets can be. All in all, I love it still. But this thing? Ew. Ew. Look. Energy regen, it's meh as a mage. That heat damage will never see the light of day. You're not going to auto anything. Health on a mage? No. Just no. Any uh, self-respecting mage will play full focus or very close to it at this level. And 600 fire magic ain't really going to do much. So, ignore this. Ranger? Great bracelet just like the rogue one. Warrior? Same thing. Druid is also bad, but I guess I'll note that totems are kind of viable now. Still, ew. Necklaces? Well, we got 60 rejuve, 250 defense, 750 health, 300 strength. It's a little bit worse than a Royal Blood Thorn Ami. I guess it's a good substitute if you can't kill it. But a Runic Ami is more DPS if you can land hits. In most cases, at least. Because 240 heat damage isn't going to plateau. It's straight damage. 300 strength at level 200 is going to end up pretty badly. Unless you're constantly eating Barra Brits and stuff like that. Because that's affected by strength too. You might have a better advantage there. But it's, it's not too good. And personally, I'd rather have an event ammy, like a stalker ammy, but it's pretty nice for what it is. Mage 1, 750 health, 300 focus, 600 evade all. 600 evade all is actually better than you'd think. Because think about it, when you're bossing as a mage, you're not going to use defense, you're probably not going to use armor, much at least. The only real threat as a mage is getting AoE'd by the boss or an offshoot skill, which is where skill evasion will help. Now I hate RNG and I do not recommend stacking it, but it's a pretty nice bonus. But 300 focus? It's going to be a real plateau to 200, especially as a mage when you're probably rolling full focus. Rather have an event ammy with direct damage like Zephyr or... Uh, I don't know, Stalker even, maybe Venom Ami, even though it only does a thousand. Ranger, same opinion as Rogue. I don't know why they have defense on them. Warrior one has attack, a little bit better. I still like the same thing though. And Druid, the same opinion as the Mage one. Rings? Oh my god, man. I, I, I don't want to know. Who thought this was a good idea? Look, 400 resist everything, and 150 to two great stats with regen. Just take a minute to process that. Back in my day, you had to wear an entire Garanox Stonebark set, which is three parts, to get 200 resist all. But no! One ring comes along and gives you 400 resist all. And, uh, better than that, you could wear four of them and have 1600 resist all. This is the end of mages in PvP. This right here. There's absolutely nothing a mage can do to you if you're wearing four of these. They'll basically, they'll be like a mosquito. <laughs> There's just nothing they can do. But for actual use, you are pretty unlikely to find an enemy that's going to hit you with purely elemental damage, aside from maybe mage enemies. And most bosses will hit you with autos, which are mainly physical or even chaos damage. So for tanking, it's kind of balanced. Uh, 
I would definitely recommend these rings. They're great. I would wear it over a lot of things, except for maybe recast rings or stuff with really good damage on it. Even for mages, they're pretty good, except that no skill points or uh, direct damage or anything. So, if you have like a necro ring, uh, you could wear it over that. But for every class, pretty solid choice, especially for melees. But, um, let's take a look at something else. This is the tier 1, which is level 185, and that's only 15 levels lower, but it has half the stats of a tier 4. Half! And it's only 15 levels away. It's not like it's going from level 15 to 30. It's going from 185 to 200. Who in their right mind will buy this crap? It's just awful. And you want to see another insult? Alright, see how these are 200 resist at 185? Look at this, this is 190, it's one tier higher, it only gives you 40 more. <laughs> 40 more. Uh, Alright. So we gotta type up Shrouded now, for tier 4. Oh man, this is a lot of results, it wasn't what I was looking for. Let's see, okay good, it's right here. Now these ones, it's uh, it's weird. Dex, but focus. Focus is trash on a non-caster. But evasions have some uses. Um, something real bad here. See how these ones give base stats? Like Dex and focus? I mean, yeah, I know it's focus, but it's still one of the four main stats. But look at the caster one. It gives defense. Defense is not a main stat, and uh, I guess somebody screwed up real bad there. The Druid one also has the same thing. But the only one actually worth wearing here is the Warrior one. Take a look at it. 450 defense. Must have been a bug here. And 150 fit. And the 300 fit all you see on all these rings. I said they had, they had use, and they kind of do. With resistances, you can only stack so much, and your druids will probably have wards and stuff. I mean, they'll have blessed too, but eh. With these evades, they're hard to get then defense, hard to get then resists, probably. Because you get resists on your armor and shield and whatnot, sometimes your ammy if you're a tank. And it could help with PvP somewhat. Now I know that 400 resist all is way better against mages, but druids, if they're trying to hit you with swarm, swarm bypasses every resistance and all armor. So the only way to reduce damage by swarm is to not get hit by it. So that's where evasion comes in. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Pretty useful. Bracelets. Look at this. Insult. They give you 1200 energy instead of health. What, what kind of crap is that? Even as a mage, you do not want energy. Uh-uh. But, the warrior one makes up for everything. Now, I know it has the exact same stats as the reaver one in theory, but it has energy regen on it. And we know that as melees, we like energy regen because it lets us use skills. So this is actually something that's better than Reaver. For Amis, they also got that crap with the energy. It's just a worse version of Reaver, but... Again... Warriors got lucky. I don't know how, but it's what happened. And look at this. 300 attack, 1200 health, and 300 strength. Another thing better than Reaver, and this is a lot closer to a Royal Bloodthorn Ami than the other ones. 
because it has more health, and that's almost 200 vit. And I know a Royal Bloodthorn Ami gives a little bit more 500 stat points, but this also gives 60 rejuve. So, really, look into that if you don't want to use a Runic Ami or whatever. It's a pretty solid choice. Now let's see. Masked. That's the name of the Tier 1. Yep, as you see, just like the Reaver, has only half the stats. Peace, oh crap. So, to go over everything we talked about, high tier ones, pretty solid. Anything below that, not worth buying. The only reason you want to buy something below tier 4 is if it's for PvP. And PvPing at 185, 190, and 195 is pretty dumb since there's no advantage to doing so. Basically, if you're over 150, you might as well be end game. And on the caster stuff, it's just not worth buying any of this. No. Aside from maybe Reaver Rings for PvP, but that's about it. Just save your money, buy something different. The main reason I think they introduced Reaver and Lich Lux is because they wanted to give people an alternative to raid gear. Because, you know... Some clans couldn't be able to kill it because Dom clans or whatnot, or people just weren't lucky. And I think they did a pretty good job at balancing out the gear. The gear's pretty useful, as long as you pick the right stuff. Just uh, use this video as a little guide to your reaver and lich buying, and I think you'll be alright.